Shalom, and welcome back to Bnei Noach Academy, Thoughts on the Torah and Life. Please remember to hit the like button, to subscribe, and most importantly, to share this insight and inspiration with friends and family. So we're in the series of prayer for non-Jews, for all mankind. And I was asked the following question. Does one need to actually recite the prayers? In other words, does one need to actually verbalize the prayers? Now, let me explain the question. Of course, God knows what's in our minds. God knows our thoughts. He can read them much louder than anyone can hear us when we speak. So the question is, is there really a need for us to actually verbalize the words of our prayers, of our requests? And the answer is absolutely yes. Let me explain why. You see, the way we function, the way things happen in this world is basically you can break it down into three. Thought, speech, and action. In fact, nothing can happen without it. There's always a thought process. I know some people seem like they say things without thinking, but at some level, at some subliminal level in their minds, there was a quick thought. Speech is very powerful. With your speech, you communicate what's in your mind what you want, and you can even affect things, especially if you're in a position of giving commands, of directing people and what to do. But ultimately, in order for something to be implemented, in, so, in order for something to have an effect in this physical world that we live in, there has to be an action. Now, when we pray, of course, what's very, very crucial is our thoughts. In Hebrew, it's called kavana, our intent, the feeling of the heart, the thought of the mind, the concentration, the contemplation, that all is crucial. Without that, if somebody just says words and doesn't think what they're saying, it doesn't really have any proper intent, any proper kavanah, obviously those are empty words. Those are empty shells. However, if one just remains with the th thought process, so to speak, if one just remains with their kavanah exclusively and does not translate it, transfer it into speech and action, then it doesn't, so to speak, come down. It doesn't have an effect. It doesn't have an implementation in this physical world. Our request from God is that it should all materialize and manifest themselves into this world. We begin by uh, that process by actually speaking the words, saying the words. Even if we say it quietly, in a very low but audible manner, what we're doing is, number one, we're communicating. But most importantly, we're moving our lips. Although it's a very minor action, but it is an action. It's already something physical that has a connection to the reality of the world that we live in. And like I said, nothing really matters unless it has a physical implication in this world. Thus, in short, when you pray, it is crucial, it is vital that one not just read and think and contemplate the meaning of the prayer, meaning reading it silently, but rather that one actually prays, actually says the words by moving their lips and somewhat, even on a very low tone, have an audible experience in saying those words.